first chapter of the year one pure course is on algebraic expressions and it's really all stuff you should know from GCSE so it's a quick reminder of a lot of things you might have forgotten. First we're going to look at the index laws which you will have done some time ago. So when you've got two bases, same base with um, powers being multiplied to bring them into a single base, you just simply add the powers together. The division rule, very, very similar. You've got the same base with powers dividing, you just subtract those powers. If you've got the powers separated by brackets, you can just remove the brackets by multiplying the powers. And one that is worth remembering, because you've got a lot of errors here. When you've got a power applied to a bracket, it's applied to everything inside the bracket. So that's A to the M, B to the M. And a good example here is something like when you've got 3x to the power of 2. A very common error is to write, um, is to write 3x squared, which is wrong because it's 3 squared x squared, 9x squared. The power applies to everything inside the bracket. So let's go on to example 1. Oh, these are very, very easy examples. x squared times x to the 5. Using the multiplication rule, we simply add the powers together. So 2 plus 5 is 7. 2r squared times 3r cubed. Let's deal with the coefficients first. And we're multiplying those together. 2 times 3 is 6. And then from the multiplication rule here, r squared times r cubed. Add the powers together, r to the 5c, b to the 7 over b to the 4, using the division rule, just subtract the powers, 7 take 4 is 3. d, 6x to the 5 divided by 3x cubed, dealing with the coefficient first, 6 over 3 is 2, x to the 5 divide x to the 3 using the division rule just subtract the powers 5 take 3 is 2 a a cubed squared times 2 a squared well firstly let's use this rule here to deal with the brackets just multiply these powers together 3 times 2 is 6 Deal with the coefficients, 2 times nothing, well yes of course there is something, it's 1, 2 times 1 is 2, same base, so we add the powers together because it's multiplying, 6 plus 2 is 8. Uh, there is an f, 3x squared cubed over x to the 4, let's deal with the bracket first, you've got 3 cubed which is 27, x squared cubed times these together is x to the 6. There's no coefficients on the denominator, so it's just going to be 27. And then using the division rule, subtract the powers, 6 to 8, 4 is 2. So to example 2. Just expanding some brackets. Minus 3x multiplied by 7x take 4. Keep the reference method you like here. Um, but in essence we've got to do minus 3x times 7x and minus 3x times minus 4. So minus 3x times 7x is minus 21x squared. Minus times a minus is a plus. And then 3x times 4 is 12x. Y squared brackets 3 minus 2y cubed. Y squared times 3, 3y three squared minus y squared times 2y cubed is 2y to the 5. Then just using the multiplication rule, so we add the powers together. C, 4x times 3x minus 2x squared plus 5x cubed. 
So I've got three multiplications to do here. So 4 times 3 is 12, x times x is x squared. Minus 4 times 2 is 8, x times x squared is x cubed. Plus 4 times 5 is 20, x times x cubed is x to the 4. D. Two brackets in this one. 2x times 5x plus 3. Take away 5 brackets 2x plus 3. Okay, so 2x times 5x is 10x squared. 2 times 5 is 10. x times x is x squared. Plus 2x times 3 is 6x. Now the second one, I'm going to um, expand it by times it by 5. And I'll write those solutions underneath. And I'll line up common terms. So like the first one, 5 times 2x is 10x. 5 times 3 is 15, and then I'm subtracting them. It's not like doing hundreds, tens units, x squared x, and x to the null numbers. So 10x squared take away nothing is obviously 10x squared. 6x take away 10x will be take away. 6x take away 10x is minus 4x. 0, if you like, take away 15 is minus 15. I mean, you can expand it by multiplying by minus 5 and then just bring it together like terms. Okay, example 3. x to the 7 plus x to the 4 over x cubed. Now when you've got a multi-part numerator, so you've got different terms separated by time and separated by add and subtract, and a single denominator, we can simplify it by dividing each part of the numerator by the denominator. So you can say, say it's this divide this plus this divide by this, because this is dividing all of this. And then use the division rule, um, 7 take 3 is 4, 4 take 3 is 1, gives us x to the 4 plus x to the 1, which is just x. B, squeeze B in over here, 20x to the 7 plus 15x cubed. 4 divided by 5x squared. Again, same techniques as before. What we're going to do here is uh, this one is actually C. We'll do C first and we'll go back and do B. So splitting that up, so we've got 20x to the 7 divided by 5x squared plus 15x cubed divided by 5x squared. Again, just splitting the numerator and dividing each part by the denominator. So 20 over 5 is 4. Subtract the powers, x to the 5. 15 over 5 is 3. Subtract the powers, x to the 1, which is just x. So going back to do b, 3x squared take away 6x to the 5 divided by 2x. Then just split that up. And then 3 over 2 would leave us 3 over 2. You could put 1.5 if you wanted to, it doesn't really make much difference. 2 take 1, or x squared divided x is just x. 6 over 2 is 3, and then 5 take away 1 is 4. Okay, that's all the examples up to exercise 1a, so we have a go at that one now.